Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block, center the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Please select all. So don't open a banger and new exclusivity will definitely be notified. So Joe the Juggernaut Joyce is back with another banger uh, knocking out Kash Ali in the third round I think it was the last round of the fight bro usually it was a very interesting fight Kash Ali gave uh, Jojo's hell Jojo's was very like impressive um I see he's trying to he's trying to give back that juggernaut you know mindset that he has uh though Kash, Kash Ali is not really um it's not a i think it's a c-level fighter but when you lose twice in a row against a puncher like john jilei and very technical south one of the most dangerous south in the world so you do have to put the confidence back joe joyce is still very much relevant in the game he called out delay and the body sasha white afterwards he wants big fights now and white wants white wants to fight six times if possible six times or four times this year he wants to be active a naughty fighter is a dangerous fighter i think this is what joshua has realized as well george you're gonna joyce where does he go from here white fight then a dubai rematch janjali rematch he said he doesn't want to fight janjali because that's a very bad time for him he said that i think he's right let's go around here at the wallet to give stake on the first of george against kasha lee um, how impressed are you with uh, Joe Joyce, bro? Daddy Wale? Man, I love Joe Joyce. I love the brother. But I wasn't impressed, if I'm honest. Because he kept on eating that overhead right hand. Overhand right hand from Kash Ali. And Ali is not the most precise puncher. He's not the best puncher or the most accurate guy. He's not even a known fighter in the heavyweight division, to be honest. I, I, I've only seen one other fight of Kash Ali. And I thought it was more of a troll. In fact, let me give Kashali some credit for understanding how to land that right hand on Joe repeatedly, even though it wasn't doing any damage. I don't know if it almost felt like around the fifth or sixth round, Joyce was beginning to have that confidence of being able to take punches without taking any damage. And he was open. He was hoping to be, to be hit. And... All what he did was he wore down Kash Ali. He was landing some jabs here and there. And when he had the opportunity, he would open up a combination. That's how he was able to wear down Kash Ali. The performance wasn't the best, I'll be honest, because he was still getting hit consistently with the right hand. And what that tells me is that Joyce is a good guy. You know, I wish him the best, but I just don't think he can get to the pinnacle of the heavyweight division, especially with what he brings to the table. He has slow hands to a large extent, and he's just easy to be hit. You know, he's slow, a very quick puncher will be able to punch in between every everything that he brings in. And man, it is what it is. I like Joe Joyce. It hurts that I have to say, give this honest review about his performance. I really, really hope he can get a big fight soon um, I mean, if anybody is willing to pay Joe Joyce big money to put him on your record, if you feel like you can beat him, because don't get it twisted. He's still a tough guy. That is a big, strong, tough guy. It will be difficult to beat, but an elite fighter will beat Joe Joyce just because of his speed and his defense. I'm surprised. You know, watching a Cash Ali fight, I was thinking that Dubois shouldn't have lost to Joyce, man. Dubois should have won that fight, but... I guess that's his that's um, destiny. He was meant to lose to Joe Joyce. If they were to have a rematch right now, I would absolutely favor that other boy. So yeah, that's my review of the, of the situation. Everybody favored the boy. 
until you just deal with it to the boy. My yeah, opinion, man, I don't know, man. <laughs> in my opinion, Joyce is a dangerous guy. If one thing about Joyce is that one thing I've noticed so far is that he has to respect your power for you to for you to beat him. If he doesn't, if you hit him and he doesn't feel it, he doesn't respect your power. He will eventually eventually beat you. That's what he did against Parker. And of course, people will say, "Well, his chin has been cracked now by John Jali." Well, John Jali is a powerful guy. He, he, he literally he didn't even touch Parker that much like that, and Parker went down. So that should tell you how how I think Joe Joyce Joe Joyce shouldn't fight a guy like Joshua though, because if he does, Joshua hits very hard like John Jali. It will be very messy. To be messy, Man, like. bro, bro. So if I'm I, Joyce, I, I, if I, I get think, a Joshua I, fight, I, I think the fighters Joe Joyce beat are fighters that doesn't respect, like he doesn't like fighters that he doesn't respect their power. So let's say for example, or uh, if Fury fight Joe Joyce, Joe Joyce Fury is not knocking Joe Joyce out because Fury doesn't no. hit Fury doesn't hit hard like John Lee or Joshua. Okay, if Joe Joyce fight Deontay Wilder, well, it's a big problem because Wilder will land a right hand on Joe Joyce. I don't know how Joe Joyce will have to take like three or four, but taking three or four punches from Wilder, that straight right hand, even one one is enough to knock you out. So that was dangerous fight as well because Wilder will land. So. I said, unless he does, he does something interesting where he starts using his jab like he did against Dubois. Because Dubois is a powerful guy as well, but somehow to just control Dubois with a jab and was able to like to keep him keep him uh, keep him on the bay and stop him. Of course on the on the scorecard, Dubois was winning that fight on the scorecard, but I don't think that was the case though in reality. I think they wanted to give Dubois that, that decision. I think, I think so. um, Joyce has a very has very good timing. That's one thing he has, Joyce, especially with the jab. He has a good timing with the jab, and that timing sometimes beats speed, like all these professional boxers say. So that's what he used to defeat Daniel Dubois. But in all his other fights, he has always just gone in head first, throwing punches. You know, chin tucked in, head first throwing multiple punches until he wears down his opponents. He has a very good engine and that has always worked out for him. But I wish him the best, man. If he ever gets an answer to Joshua fights, I would absolutely favor AJ to knock him out or at least go the distance, make unanimous decision, victory over Joe Joyce. But he better not turn that down because that's a lot of money. Do you see <laughs> the video of uh, Marty Bacoli, the sparring video footage of Marty Bacoli, like basically posting and saying he wants to join I think that is very weak of Marty Bacoli to do that because you don't post videos of sparring like that. It's, it's yeah. Like, that's, that, how do you expect people yeah. to like, trust you then? I don't, this yeah, guy yeah. Please, he's calling everybody out then acting like a clown. Bro. No, bro. Bacoli, man. Bacoli has been making some wrong moves on his social media recently. I saw him put a, a GoFundMe up telling us the boxing fans to fund his boxing career to me that doesn't make sense i don't know why he did that i understand maybe you're desperate my african brother you know living in in, the, in europe and it's hard for you to get opportunities but you probably need to find another way man maybe you I, make I, I, I find your way down to america I, I, or something i think bro. the problem is i think his manager is very i don't know what to say but that manager is not um he's not helping matters bro but it's what it is. He decides. Yeah, man. He Unfortunate, it. man. It's very crazy. So, Tajagbe, your take on Juju's performance against Kasha Lee, stopping him in the later rounds, basically the last round of the fight. Um, yeah, you know, you guys all made a very, very good point. Uh, as for, yeah, as for Joe Joyce, I mean, He had to fight against, uh, you know, a guy like Cash Ali. He can't find anybody else because, you know, let's be honest, Joe jo Joyce is at, at the way he got the way he got handled by uh, Zhang Zilei, <clears throat> He wasn't 
he wasn't ready to try to you know go against somebody else. But Janjale you know? is a, is a, is a different style, a, a hard style, bro. For him, styles yeah, make no, fighters it, like they say. It, it's 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 not stylistically. It's it's basically how he got handled was the issue. You know, you you try to if you if if Joe the way Joe Joyce got handled by by Janjale, he tried to jump in there with a guy like Andrew Ruiz. It's gonna play a role of basically you know PTSD to where you know <coughs> he's gonna he's gonna re he's gonna give up. You know, he's gonna like his 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 confidence is gonna go down basically. You know, Joe Joyce was only building his his uh his confidence up and momentum up until where he fought you know up until where he fought daniel dubois he looked amazing he looked good at the parker you know that that confidence was building up <clears throat> honestly when they were building that confidence up and you know he had he had this great wins under his belt it's after that it should have been more of a strategic fight for joe joyce strategic every, everything should have been strategic because you know you can't buy you can't buy into that hype thinking yeah your your bone density is higher than everybody else you know that's why you could take punches no that shouldn't be the case because that means you 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 bought into that hype and now you think you're invincible all right now that you think you're invincible you got touched up by somebody a lot older than you you know somebody who's who doesn't have you know that much of a that not much of a career they're, they're about the same age bro oh they're about the same age okay i'm sorry yeah i mean they're about the same age but you know doesn't have the same wins as you and you know i would say he lost to more you know jerry forrest somebody who i don't have someone I, I i don't highly rate you know so it should have been more strategic planning for him but he bought into that hype to where i don't know what it is with, with these certain fighters when they buy into that hype you know they go in there and they get manhandled and that's what happened he got manhandled twice <clears throat> and i think at this point you know yeah he beat cash alley which should have been which it is which it, which is enough he did enough needed to beat cash alley he did what he had to do okay he can't take any more losses i mean i believe joe joyce he has one good win left one good 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 win that he could beat any elite fighter but at this point i i believe it should be more strategic you know to where okay i'm gonna i'm if if, if, if it's gonna be a one good elite it has to be strategically planned okay at least I, at least that that we know that if it's strategically planned joe joyce has an opportunity to get a win under his belt and at least get a a a, a, a good payday and be at least be done with boxing or at least if you're gonna fight another fight, it'll be against a good fighter, and then you could get really get you, get, you could get at least paid. And if you get knocked out, you know you got paid, and that'll be the end. That'll be the end of your career. And that'll be everything, you know. But him to just to go ahead and you know try to you know stay active and not be strategic with the way you're doing it, he's gonna get hurt. Okay, he's gonna get hurt. I believe he has. He, he, there's enough fighters in there. For for basically, it's all about it's all about planning and and matching him up perfectly with the right fighters. I do believe you know there's enough fighters out there that people could enjoy seeing Joe Joyce. You know, I believe Jarrell Miller is one of them. <coughs> I don't think Deontay Wilder is one of them, man. I, I believe I don't think so, bro. Deontay Wilder is gonna is uh, you only need three good punches, man. You're done. And I believe Deontay Wilder is gonna hit you up with three good punches, and that's it. He's not. He's not fast enough for Deontay Wilder, so I don't, I wouldn't want him to fight a Deontay Wilder. You know, I believe um, somebody of 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 Efe Jabba would be good. I think Andrew Ruiz would be good. It's all about matchmaking. If they make, if they fight, if they match him up against somebody, somebody decent, somebody who has a good hype behind him, it'll be a good fight for either party. It'll be a good fight for the for the boxing fans. But if you if you if you match him up against the wrong person, and he loses the way you don't want him to lose, his career is done, you know. And I don't want that for Joe Joyce, you know. Seeing seeing who he is and speaking speaking to his mother, it's all about matchmaking. And I hope they match him right with the perfect fighter, you know. And that's it. Thanks, bro. I put your take on this, guys. You heard it from our brothers, Todd Jugby and 
à dévoiler stay to famous with Barra here God bless you all catch you on the next one